Tourism bosses say we should be pushing for more public arts events after more than a million people turned out to see the Giants over the weekend. Today, Nine News captured the final images of the diver giant as he was packed away and the puppet masters recovered. The little girl and the diver attracted giant crowds and delivered a giant economic boost to Perth. 1.4 million people crowded into the CBD over three days. A flotilla followed them as they left. And as the massive marionettes were packed away last night, ready to be shipped back to France, our city was still enjoying the benefits. I would say most of the trade was of a food and beverage nature or accommodation, so I guess it would be in the tens of millions of dollars. Some came from overseas and interstate. Most hotels were fully booked and Perth shops were also packed. It cost $5 million to stage the performance paid for by the state government and private donors. But the city of Perth says visitors splashed out even more. We had to buy like cartons of milk from Woolworths because we just couldn't handle the amount of people that came. For Leo Agnello's Forest Place Cafe, it was a good headache to have. We had eight people taking orders, but it was just, we've never encountered crowds like that before in, our, in, in all the years that we've been here. There was respite also today for those who helped move the giants through the city, like Fremantle Circus performer Steve Andrews. To be putting so much into this show as a Lilliputian and having so much given back tenfold by the crowd was incredible. The 24-year-old was responsible for moving the little girl. We did become attached and, yeah, it, it's sad now that she's left because it was almost like a friend had come to visit. The Tourism Council is urging the state government not to rest on its laurels and continue pushing for major events that will attract international and interstate visitors. They say every tourist stays in the city for a couple of days and spends at least $1,000 each. But if the Giants come back to Perth, well, we'll have to wait and see. I'm hearing from Royal Deluxe themselves that they think this is probably the biggest uh, audience they've had. Josh Yerger, 9 News.